So this is Elisa, and she's in her studio, and she's taking these sticks of glass, and she turns them into these beads. So now she's picking her glass, and she's going to make a fish. I'm told I need to wear protective glasses in order to watch this. I've got these glasses here that I could use so that we could see the flame. So melting the rod of glass around the other stick and forming it into what's going to be a bead. Right. There it goes. Now it's turning into a bead. That's how you make glass beads. It's a perfect circle. Glass always wants to ball up on itself. So you can always count on it forming a bead. You've just got to control it. So now she's taking a yellow piece of glass and that's how she's going to add the color. And we're going to have yellow spots to the fish. So we're... So that flattens them out and melts yep. them down. So really, that's just adding the color. Yeah. And now it's a circle again. That's a bead. It stays a bead until you do something with it. Now she's adding blue to the yellow. To the yellow. Now we make them into a fish. We'll flatten them out a tiny bit on the sides. Adding the tail with another piece of glass. And the name of your studio is? Worcester Glass Studio. It used to be something fishy. When I first started doing it, I couldn't make a bead for the life of me. But you could make a fish. I turned all my beads into fish. And one day the teacher came by and said, I suppose you're going to turn that one into a fish. And I said, yep, you're right. And that was it. That's the fin? Yeah, these are the fins. She's got red lips. They look black. Anything that's black is usually red. And then the finishing touch is the mouth. She... Then it goes in the kiln. So now it stays in here at 9.50 for how long? Uh, 20 minutes, but longer. It slowly cools down very, very slowly. Well, thanks for showing me this. This is incredible. You're welcome. We've got a fish stick. <laughs>